recently. I've hit a bit of creative block on what to film next. So, I went back to my YouTube comments and noticed we all share a deep appreciation for one thing. Interior design. So today, I thought I'd walk you through how I designed my space to feel bigger, even with limited square footage. Let's start with lighting. Layering the lighting is important, if not the most important um, thing you can do in your space to make it feel bigger. What I like to do is to have multiple light sources at different heights, such as um, floor lamps, table lamps, and even wall mounted lamps. This not only softens the shadows but also visually opens up the space and having different light sources means you can own more lamps which is a good thing. So yeah, there's a good reason why I love good lighting because it's one of those things where a small change can truly transform your space dramatically. So I would say if there's only one thing you can change about your space to make it feel bigger, it would be to have good lighting and also to layer them right. The next thing is to consider your furniture choices. So thinking back, what helped me the most is to consider getting low profile furniture. Low profile furniture means they are very close to the ground, making the ceiling feel higher and also it elongates your room. Some examples you can see around my space is this sofa I'm sitting on, the side chairs and also my vinyl console is really close to the floor which I think makes a huge huge difference in making your space look bigger. Another important thing to consider is the size of your furniture, in particular your coffee table and couch. Choosing a furniture that is too large can instantly make your space feel cramped. So a good suggestion is to get a two-seater sofa instead of three and also you can consider getting a side table instead of getting a traditional coffee table. Another way to make your ceiling feel higher is to embrace vertical designs. So what are some examples you can see in my space? One is my Vitsu desk. Another would be my floor to ceiling blinds and also my indoor tree. All these will draw the eyes outwards which in turn creates an illusion of a higher ceiling but also creates depth to your place making a smaller space look even more spacious. Another tip is to use wall panels or extending your bookshelves taller than in usual which then again pulls the attention upwards while adding functionality. So tip number 4 is all about rugs and how you can define and enhance your space. So the first thing I do is instead of choosing a rug that fits and aligns all your furniture exactly, so what you can do is pick a larger rug that extends beyond the boundaries. So what this does is actually making the room bigger because it visually connects all the furniture together. So when it comes to positioning a rug, what I like to do is always having the front two legs of the chair or your sofa on the rug itself. This creates a visual link between the furniture and the floor. Also, rugs can be a very powerful tool to distinguish different zones in your place especially in an open concept just like mine, whether it's a reading corner or a living room. So that helps with breaking up the room naturally, bring a lot of structure in the space while maintaining a sense of spaciousness. So now that we've discussed on how rugs can define a space, let's talk about furniture arrangement and its significant role in making a smaller room feel larger. For my space, I created different zones such as a reading corner, a coffee corner, my workstation and even my vinyl listening area. But honestly, I didn't create all these different corners just to have the intended idea to make a smaller space feel bigger. But I'm glad this layout helps to build structure, making it feel more spacious and functional. So by assigning different corners or zones, you reduce a lot of clutter and create an organized flow. So let's take my reading corner as an example. I added a bookshelf and a small side table just to make it feel like a reading corner. The bookshelf acts as a storage as well. And as for my coffee corner, I use a coffee cart to organize all my coffee gears and accessories so everything comes together very nicely, which helps keep the essentials within reach and also enhances the utility in each and every corner. All this intentional arrangement not only helps defining the room but also ensure that it serves its purpose, making the room feel more distinct and cohesive. So yeah, that's all my top tips I have for making a small space feel bigger. I'm by no means an expert or professional designer, but this is all based on my own personal experiences and I hope it's been helpful for you guys. And also this is my first actual educational video. So do let me know how you guys think of this video and I would love to know which tip is the most useful for you guys. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.